Sorry, I'm late, y'all, but I'm here. And that's all that matters, right? Right. <sighs> you guys having a great day? I hope you are. What's today? I almost said the fourth. But that's not right. I don't know what day it is. Wednesday. What's up, Shelly? Hope you guys have had an amazing day. What am I looking for? Okay. So, I don't know if you guys caught Rhonda's live last night, but I did, and I was very inspired by her. I guess it was a marble. I'm going to call it marble. And so I'm going to get marbly. What size is this? 18? So, yes, it was amazing. Hey guys. Hello. Hi. How are you? I look cozy. I am cozy. I, you know, I don't leave the house that much because I'm always doing orders or finishing artwork or something. So I never really leave. So I basically live my life in a onesie. I feel like that's my Steve Jobs type outfit. You know, he was like, uh, I wear the same turtleneck every day so I don't have to worry, spend time about what I'm wearing today and I can be more productive with my work. So I guess a onesie is my black turtleneck. Maybe. Thank you, thank you. I am well. So, little lashes, thank you, I just got them in. Anyways, uh, let's get started. I know this weekend is going to be amazing, Michelle. I hope you got the email I sent out with parking and driving instructions to everybody. I hope. You see Girl Cab? She's sneaky. You wouldn't think she'd be able to sneak up on people, but since Jeff put this carpet, carpet-ish, it's kind of carpet. It's serving as carpet. Ever since you put that down, she thinks she's like ultra cat-like reflexes. Like she's got moves. No one's fooled. We all know. We all know, girl cat. We all know what's up. So. Oh. Hey guys. Hey, hi, how are you? Bless you. So yeah, Rhonda's deal last night was amazing, um, and I have to give a shout out to Clara Lawrence for also aiding in the manufacturing of one of their colors, which I kind of tried to home manufacture tonight. We'll see if it works. No promises, because I'm not really sure what she did. I just, from picking up the little things that she was saying, I'm assuming I got it right. I have a little squirt bottle with a liquid potion inside, which is what they had. So obviously it's the same exact thing. Probably not, but I hope. So I am mixing up my stone coat art coat. Very important if you're gonna do things that are predominantly white to have a super ultra protective resin so that your piece um, doesn't yellow as bad or as quickly. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm using Stone Coat Art Coat. You can get it from me on my website along with all these colors or from Stone Coat directly, and that would be um, StoneCoatCountertops.com. 
And you can use the code YALL, Y-A-L-L, all caps, no punctuation, to get an awesome discount from their website. You cannot get that um, on my website. I get emails all the time about why the code YALL does not work. <laughs> Chase the fat girl in here. She didn't. She ran in here on her own. Oh, look how nice that looks. <gasps> so here's the thing. Hey, kids. I just was going to ask you if you could fix it. Please and thank you. Mm. So please and thank you. Susan, keep that fever down. I did. That's what I did. And I'm hoping that I got the right ratio. Who knows? What's up, Melissa? Love to car in a class with you it's in texas right but you but no you go to florida too occasionally um we do go to florida occasionally i'll have to get with our florida friends and see about setting up another class there uh, this one is in texas it's actually in the building that we live in so so it's awesome Um, the class this weekend, I'll live feed parts of it, but I probably won't stream the whole thing. This is a deluxe class, so we're doing, we're doing a lot, and Marcy's going to be doing a lot, but I'll be able to stream parts of it, I hope, depending on what area of the building we end up actually painting in. We'll see. I'll do my best. My pleasure, Judy. Appreciate your patience. Which resins are food safe? So, Sherry, that's a very difficult question. Let me take my this out because my phone just lit up because she thought I said, hey, Siri. Funny thing, if I say, hey, Siri, to get her to come up, she doesn't. So, that's fun. Anyways, um, food safe. So the best food safe rating that you can get with resin is an incidental contact, which means you can drop something on it and basically five second rule it. It's not made for prolonged contact. So I wouldn't put something on like a tray, put it in the fridge overnight. That's considered long-term contact. Uh, that being said, uh, that's all from all of the bottles, all the SDS sheets and TPS reports that I've ever read. Um, I love the TPS reports. They're still in the gun. Um, I know a lot of people that don't adhere to it. To that, they they will make drinking glasses and coat the inside with resin. Do you? I'm not saying that you can't. I'm saying the label says that you shouldn't. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Judy! John says, I've watched so many of the resin videos, but I haven't seen one mention why spray paint is used over other paints. So John, I don't use spray paint over other, I, I assume when you say over, you mean that's the preferred pigment as opposed to the order in which you lay your colors. Let me know if which one of those is the right thing and I'll answer for you. Uh, I did not remember the cover letter for the TPS report, so that's probably why it keeps getting sent back to me. Every time. I meant MSDS and um, also TPS reports because reasons. Anyways, here we go. So I have my resin mixed up, and now I'm going to prepare a dirty pour per... Exotic pour. Oh, exotic pour because you don't want to get dirty on your countertops reasons okay so this is an 18 inch framed 
cradle board. I'm doing frame because I don't feel like taping the edges. Um, because when you do an exotic pour or a dirty pour, you use, you're supposed to use like five or six ounces per square foot. And that's a lot of resin. So I mixed up 18 ounces for this uh, 18 inch board. Fairly sure I won't use it all, but better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. I said that proper. Meaning I see people spraying paint to black and then pouring or then mixing into a resin. You can do either way with spray paint, John. You can either spray it in between layers or you can um, mix it into resin and then make that your layers. I understand we have all the sizes of cups except for the one I need. What size do you need? Basically a red solo cup. Um, yeah, you can spray them in between layers or mix it into resin and then use that as your layers. I prefer paste. If you watched Rhonda's feed last night, she explained a little bit about this, but um, I'm assuming that the reason why Countertoppers in particular, countertoppers? I'm gonna assume that's proper. So I'm gonna assume that the reason why they prefer spray paints is that it doesn't really degrade the durability of your resin like using a water-based paint such as acrylics. Um, and it gives an interesting effect whereas using a water-based paint like acrylics doesn't really give you anything except for problems. So the first color I'm ooh, using is Dark Mushroom. It's by Color Passion. It's like a chocolatey gray color. Tutor down. I bet people even OG. heard that. I bet people even heard that on the live feed. So, um, using a paste made for resin always just turns out better. I, at least for me. Countertoppers. What's up, Diana? Yeah, Susan, I'm, I'm a fan of that color. So they did hear your wipeout. You'd be happy to know. Next one I'm using is Taupe Stone. It's just a silvery blue hued gray. I wanna say some versions of her taupe are actually um, a bit on the beige side, but I could be very, very much wrong. Sorry, my forehead hit something and then everything fell down. That is quite a tale, Tudor. A forehead of yours. Toot's gonna toot, you know? This is for Tudor's forehead. <laughs> Party horn for Tudor's forehead. <laughs> RIP Tudor's forehead. Then I'm going to use. What are we making here? What colors are these? These are, these are colors. I am doing a piece inspired by Rhonda's shower sink pour from last night. This is Color Passion White. I believe Rhonda used spray paint, but that's okay. Maybe I should mix one with spray paint. So I wanna make um, a translucent white as well. So I'm just dropping a little bit of the opaque white into my other whites. Um, Tudor, everyone wants to know if you're okay. 
He will make it. He will live. <clears throat> so I want it to be translucent, but that's a little bit too translucent. So we're going to have to add more pigment. I want it to be um, so this first one is opaque. I want these other ones to be almost like milk, I think. You guys, let me just preface this video. Thank you for being here as long as you have been while I mix colors and stuff. Um, I, I'm not the best dirty pourer, or I mean exotic pourer. Yeah. But I'm gonna give it my best shot. Yeah, the sink top turned out pretty good, didn't it? Okay, so that one's see-through, but very white. So I can just barely see the tan of the stir stick through the resin. That's what I wanted to happen, as opposed to this one where it's just white. It's going to be a crazy sunset if the sun comes out. It's, it's pink really out there cool. right yeah. now. B, you should, you should actually look at that. I could, I just saw the reflection. Then the secret ingredient is going to be this alumilite dye mixed with alcohol. Oh, I'm just going to film it. I'm not putting it in resin. I'm putting it on resin. Uh -huh. So before I mix up my dirty pour, I'm going to do a um, grease the pan, or as Rhonda likes to call it, a skim coat. Don't really want too much of this down because you're not trying to do anything other than <gasps> stain your board because you touched an alumilite thing. It'd be all right. We're calling that a choice. So you just want a little bit down to make it easier for your dirty pour to flow. Because if you don't do this, then it's just going to roll over itself and just mix. I want it to just flow easily over the surface. For some reason, my resin's extra thick today. It wasn't that cold. Would you use? Art coat. And I didn't go ahead and mix up my dirty pour before doing this because in my experience, the longer you let those paints sit and mingle with each other, the longer and easier it is for them to mix and turn into secondary colors instead of just staying to themselves. I don't want any mingling between my colors. Just want to put them in the thing and pour them out. Also, I learned something from Rhonda. I mean, I learned a lot from Rhonda, but she did like an exotic pour or a dirty pour one way. And then if, if she does it backwards, like she pours it and it ripples over itself, it looks like snake skin. So I'm gonna do a snake skin one for you guys too. Okay, so we're all coated. And it looks beautiful, right? Yeah, you gotta be careful using those rags. I've been wiping a lot of stuff down and there's gonna be hair and dirt and dust and... Okay. I'll be careful. I mean, I already used it. You know, you gotta put alcohol on it too, so that doesn't. Erica doesn't let her colors have any fun. It's true. It's tight ship over here. This is business only. No fun zone. Okay. Now we have our this. Um, keep in mind when you start stacking your colors is 
first in is last out. So whatever you want to have as your dominant color should go in first. Um, unlike with um, sorry, unlike with acrylic pores where you want the white to end up on top so you put it in first, that really, the weight of it doesn't really matter for this. Also, I'm going to do a dual pour. I feel like that will do something, and so I'm here for it. And I'm layering in my translucent whites and my opaque whites. So that'll give a different look as well. I'm going to save a little bit of my colors. for the end because I may mix up like a smaller dirty pour, but we'll see. So now I'm going to give this just a little swirl to make things more interesting so that when I first pour it out, it'll have a little bit of movement. Okay, there's the regular. And then this is the snake because it doubles back on itself. It looks like ribbon candy to me. Oh, look at that. That's super fun. So because we poured out um, a skim coat. This is just settling and moving on its own. But we're going to tilt it around to get it to move more. So this is a regular dirty pour, which I was hesitating, so it kind of rippled and overlapped. And this is the snake skin one where you pour into your flow as opposed to away. Sue, I'll send you a message on, um, what's that place? Facebook, as soon as this is over. Try to, a hair of clear between the layers to help with separation. Uh, I have, but in my experience, they just end up making a translucent color instead of being fully clear. Got this really weird... I know a mystery box looks like you would use to trace patterns and sewing. What's it for? Joe, you're going to have to send me a picture. Valerie, are you talking about a deep red or a light color red? I'm going to just pour some of our white into these vacant spots before we tilt so that there's some break and the color color, because it's kind of a lot. I wanted it to be a little bit whiter, but it is what it is. I showed no restraint with my colors, apparently. But that's fine. Exotical. Yes, this is an exotic marble pour. I'm hoping that um, it's not so awesome by the time I get done with this that I don't want to add the this <laughs> because that's very likely that I'll just say I don't want to mess it up, but I'll do my best. All right, so let's tilt her around a bit get some cohesive movement. So all this tilt is gonna end up running into that reservoir that we have built into this board. J, 
you. It's like a cell extravaganza in this piece. I don't do neutral colors a lot, but after seeing this one, I'm like, hey, wait a minute. I could totally do that. I feel like it needs, there needs to be something darker in there. Well, this, um, this, this is going to be the darker. Hey, Clara. Oh, it's a tracing wheel. Yeah, that's what that is. Your colors are only showing grays where when Jeff did it with a phone, it was deeper colors. Um, that's just because our cameras pick up his phone. You know what's crazy? Yeah, because I see it the way I see it on, on you guys. Yeah, you guys are more accurate. That's really different. Piece is good. That is not always the best response. Someone once told me that they say, oh, that's different when they don't like it. An avalanche shell minus turquoise. Ooh, yeah. I wish you could see it in person because it looks definitely different. What are you thinking about this, Tudor? What's it supposed to be? Just a stone? Yeah, it's supposed yeah. to be just stone. Are you going to do the Italian drip? I am not. I'm going to do the, I'm going to try to run an alcohol ink through it. Nice. It's not purple. It's a dark chocolate brown gray that reads as purple. <laughs> brown gray. It's like the mutedest, not colorist colors of all. Yeah. Reminds me of fossil. Same. Okay. So this is the, my version just going off of the vagueness of Clara's additive that she gave to Rhonda, which is alumilite and alcohol. So it's going to be, where can you guys see? It's going to be this color. I actually like it to do the Italian drip face for just because, okay. I have to actually try to do the drip to get the face to work. Okay. <laughs> I'm really concentrating. Okay. I almost had it. I get up. Okay. They were doing some crazy big splotches, and I'm going to not do big ones. I was sure that that would float up through there. Oh my goodness. It was like a pocket and I just opened it up. Yeah. That was weird. Y'all. Okay. So I injected it and then. Two thumbs doing it by itself. Two little dots. Yeah, they're just <clears throat> coming up. Okay, that's weird. I injected too much, by the way. I'm going to have to swipe some of this off. Okay. I'm just going to try and swipe some of it off or down. This will do two things. Oh my goodness, I injected way too much. The injection. Whoops. It's okay. Because... I'll just scoop it off if it doesn't look right. I need this. I think a lot of people forget that they can just remove things that they don't like and just a little scrape. I'm 
going to tie all that back in after adding some more resin. That was so bizarre how it just came back up through the what I had going on. So now I'm just trying to tie this in. I'm just adding a little bit of directional lines. It's kind of in the center, so I'm going to tilt this. Which way? I'm going to tilt it down. Because you never want something in just the center of a piece. It never really looks right, in my opinion. So I'm just going to condense that line by tilting this. There we go. I do try to do the test so you guys don't have to. You'd be in a panic. Injection rejection. That's exactly what happened. Okay. So I'm just going to add, going to pick up and redistribute some of these little lines. So that it kind of works across the whole board. You don't have to use a palette knife to do this. You can use literally anything. Okay. Let me try again. Ooh, okay. I don't want it to get away from me this time, so I'm just putting a little down, and then I'm just going to swipe it down through where I want it. That way, it's a controlled situation. Very soft. Love it. Love it. Okay, let's turn this and incorporate it in other places. Bam, are you on Troll Patrol? Why no alcohol after? I don't, I'm not doing alcohol after because it's just going to be alcohol on alcohol. And that's just, it's not going to give you a reaction. It's kind of like oil on oil. Whereas if you thought it would do something like it would if you did oil and water. It just won't because it won't. It's the same thing. There's no way for it to have um, a reaction. You could, but it would do more to everything else than it would to this bit. I'm not saying you can't or you shouldn't. I'm saying it's not really going to do what you would imagine it would or what one would imagine it would do. I don't mind these spots of blue. I just don't want them to be the focal point. I want them to be more accent-y. Accent-y? Is that is that words? Did she end up doing the alcohol spritz last night? I'm trying to push some of that translucent white over this blue to get it to kind of fade out because when Rhonda was trying to do this the whole idea was to get it to look a little bit like a watercolor and watercolors are very soft she ended up getting a couple of um, 
like accidental splashes of this color throughout the piece and she ended up taking them off. I'm going to try to do some splashes and leave them on. Like just dots? No, I'm not gonna do that. Cause the, it's alcohol so it's gonna grow on the surface. So I'm gonna just pick up a little dot with this, uh, Never mind. I need something that won't soak it up. Okay, I'm gonna put a dot on the end of this paper. I love those. I don't know why she wouldn't have left them. Thank you, Jenny. Someone actually asked me why I don't uh, talk more than I do. Shocker, because I'm always talking. But it's because I'm trying to problem solve a lot of times. Because, you know, resin's going to resin. And so a lot of times, if I'm not talking, it's because there's something I'm trying to dissect, I guess. Make it do something different. I don't know why Rana doesn't like the dots. Grand Canyon Rivers, love that. Creek bed. We can call this one Grand Canyon Rivers or ATD Creek. Now I want to do another one with way less of the colors. Basically just do the taupe and white like this area right here and then add this concoction I feel like it needs something else though. I'm not sure what. I think it's this like large section in the middle that's throwing me off. Yeah, so these dots aren't doing fingers on the outside, they're doing fingers on the inside, which look very petri dishy. I'm here for it. Hopefully it'll focus so you can see. Focus. Focus. I thought if I yelled at it, it would work. The, will you just click the focus on this? Click the focus? Yeah. Uh -huh. Will you... What do you mean? Bring up the properties and then put the oh. focus on... Just Wait, manual. So now what? Now move it. Yeah, slide that till it's in focus. So that's really fun looking. It's just like a petri dish of little teeny tiny baby cells. So as long as it doesn't spread on the outside, I think those little dots are adorable and I'm keeping them. Dorbs? Dorbsy. Skewer swirling. Um, I'm more likely to just run an opaque white as opposed to skewer swirling. Not that it's a bad technique at all by any means. Um, they're doing countertops and so that'll get d at least one flood coat. So because Alumilite doesn't just dry on its own, it has to be in something. And if you don't fully swirl those paints, 
and mix it with the resin, then it's just never gonna dry, which is not a problem if you are doing a countertop. But if we're not doing a countertop, it could be a problem. Unless you are cool with flooding every piece. Hi, Sylvia. A T D Winter Creek. I like that too. So let's see. I definitely think it would need to be displayed this way. For my work, I always like things, I guess for your view, it would be like this, up and to the right. So I always sign on the bottom right. Are dots inside of veins? Well, the dots I just put down, but they could be inside. The cells? Happy to answer that. I just want to know what I'm answering. Bye, Sue. Vamp is just quick draw McGraw over here. I'm just going to pick up some of the blue out of one of those veins. All right. I almost feel like I want to run a vein where this dark line is going, but also I don't want to further cut my piece in half. What do you guys think? So these are all cells right here. Frame color, I would do probably a dark chocolate. I would go dark because the majority of it is light. Less is more on this. So here's the thing about Rhonda and I that differs. I, I have to see. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, Rhonda always wants to take it to the next step, and I take it to too many steps. I can see dark silver. Anyways. I'm happy with how this turned out. Very not like anything that I typically do, but also very cool. And I think for people that aren't into doing countertops, it would be an awesome background if you do vinyl. Sorry, I just looked at it on y'all's camera and I was like, it just looks like it's Split down the middle, so I'm just going to tilt it down. There. Now it looks like this. Okay, awesome. I'm going to take this to desk read down. So I think that's pretty awesome little, maybe I can do one coaster. Well, thank you, Melissa. It's definitely not something I typically do, but you know, I think you have to really get outside of your comfort zone sometimes and use techniques or um,
techniques or we're going to skim with this gray. You have to use techniques or a medium that you're not really used to using or working with. I think that breaks you out of artist blocks and just when you're in a mind funk. I think it's good to explore new things. Now I was going to do it in that, but I think maybe not because that has all of the browns in it that I wanted to kind of limit. So I'm just doing one with the gray and all the whites. What? true. Try new colors. Like I don't, I do not work with natural tones, neutral tones. Words are hard. However, sometimes you just kind of have to. You'll surprise yourself. That is not enough white. It's too much gray. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bitty tiny exotic pour on this on this square. You guys, when I first started doing resin, I did like a couple coasters and I was like, dude, I am big time. These things are perfect. Can't nobody tell me nothing. It turns out uh, it was not perfect and people should have been telling me a lot of things. Okay. Here. Ooh. Here we go. I'm just trying to kind of imagine this on a larger scale. Just trying to emulate the snake. Sense. Resin's kind of thick. Okay, so just envision this on a big scale, like as a countertop. Okay? Okay. I would put this on a countertop. Let's see how we're going to do. That's pretty. Okay. Hey, big boy. Come on, get down. All right. I'll help you. I'll help you. Come here. This is Bowie, the director. He's getting hair cut tomorrow. Are you so cute? Okay. Go ahead. Okay. If I can do oceans, then anyone here can use any color. Lamb's not a fan of doing oceans, so that's a fair point. Clara, I have to tilt my my pieces, I feel like. So basically, I know it. You can get back up here in a minute. All right. I'm just gonna have to have a team help me to tilt. So I just put a little bit of that pigment on, I know, on this palette knife. I'm kind of just doing a dip swipe type of deal. I 
now, Bowie. Calm down. He's just not taking hold on for an answer. Boom. Then. Yeah, Vam definitely did an awesome job on that ocean piece, for sure. There's my countertop. For real, for real, I wouldn't mind this out of the countertop. Alright, I'm gonna take this to the desk free zone and I'll be right back. What are you doing there, boy? Waste any resin, but you just rearrange the studio so I don't know where anything is. So do you guys have any questions about anything at all? I'm here to help. Oh yeah, Simone's ocean looked really good. Seventy, I think you definitely should. Thank you, Evelyn. Happy to anything for you guys. You know, I like to do pets. You don't have to. What you want to come up? You just want to come up. Come here. Oh, what a big boy. Hmm. You guys should have a pom. Everyone should have a pom pom baby. So you guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do so um, and hit the bell so that you get notifications sometimes. Uh, we go live every day, usually at 6 p.m. except for on Tuesdays, it's at 2 p.m. And the weekend's coin toss because you know, we never know what goes on lately. TV trays, we have a couple of TV trays we need to refinish. So maybe we'll do that. Anyways, uh, yeah, join us on here, ATD's Poor People. That's awesome, Sherry. They're the best. Uh, join us on ATD's Poor People for basically a great community of like-minded artists that just want to help and share and help and share. Thank you, Sylvia. I just resin a bunch of coasters and put one thin coat on it. I'm wondering if it needs a second coat. Um, coasters and anything functional, I would always recommend doing like your color coat, like what we just did, and then a clear flood coat. Okay. You guys hear him yelling at me to get back up? Thanks, Valerie. Anyways, you guys are amazing. We love you guys so, so much. And I hope to see you guys here tomorrow for another a riveting installment of what is Erica going to paint today. So, um, be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going to go through. And always remember, we do the test. So you don't have to. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. I said bye. <laughs>